Hey YouTube, so today is going to be a little different type of video. We're going to go get our armor. So uh, when you order our armor, like it normally gets ordered um, and shipped freight, which means that uh, because it gets shipped freight, it's like quite a bit more expensive, like a hundred bucks more or whatever to have it delivered to your house versus um, just having like it's at a FedEx. So uh, we're going to go do a little uh, trip out to FedEx to go get it. And uh, it's about an hour away. So uh, I'm heading to Winchester, Virginia to go get it uh, um, right near basically uh, Peter's Mill if you uh, do the Jeep badge on or stuff. So uh, here we go. Okay, so this is a trip to, um, to Winchester from uh, Virginia. Now look really carefully to, at the left um, of this intersection. And this I just happened to know, I run across this. Notice there is a semi going the wrong direction. Um, it looks like he maybe missed the turn or something. And he's basically making a, a U-turn and the car's in front of me basically either are dipshits or they like absolutely are not paying attention to the fact that a semi was going the wrong way down the road and they felt that they had to get in front of him and to um, prevent him from getting out. I don't, I don't know, like there's stupid people out there. And this is the middle of the COVID stuff like going on like I ordered the armor like when we got the Jeep which was before the COVID but it took like 45 days for like the armor to like make it here and so now like we're in the middle of all this stuff and all the truckers are trying to to get around and people are being like jackasses to them like it's unfortunate um uh, yeah that seems unacceptable to me like i like i just stopped and popped my flashes on so people couldn't even get around me until the truck got out of the intersection um so anyway we are on our way um, to get to fedex and uh we'll be there real quick and then uh, you'll get to see the armor Hey, so the way that all this bulk packaging works is basically you can track it with a little app thing and then um, you have to wait for them to call you to tell you that it's there. Like even if it says that it's in, it, like, in the destination, they have to process it or whatever. So they have to call you before you can come get it. So they called me, I told her I was gonna come get it. So I drove over here, the COVID thing is going on. Normally you would go in their office and then um, like do some paperwork. But since like all that's going on, you just sit in the parking lot, you call them on the phone from the parking lot and say, hey, I'm here and then uh, they verify the tracking numbers so, that, so they're 100% sure you are and they send you in back. So I'm going in back to go get the um, pallet which has a um, armor for the Jeep on it and you can see in front of me there's a forklift basically so I'm just going to go over there near him not like right near him I'm going to be like I don't know 20 feet from him and then he's going to basically put the pallet on the ground near the truck and let me break it down he's like he'll go back to FedEx or whatever and then uh what like there he is right there obviously I, I froze it so you could see him and uh so like at no point do I ever really, really get close to him and no point no point does he ever get near me they don't have you signed for anything right now and uh the paperwork is basically just uh taped to the like box or whatever it's under the little wrapper thing hey youtube we made it back from fedex as you can see um all the armor and everything fits in the, tr the truck bed which is nice i did take it off the skid as you saw and uh it comes in five boxes i have six boxes i did order something else from them too um that you'll get to see and uh um, it all looks like the right stuff um looking at the side of it like the descriptions all look right so uh, we're gonna go through and unbox it and then uh, see what all we got try to inventory it a little bit and then uh, see how much we can get installed hey so I'm not gonna give you a time-lapse of all the work done to like get it all off um, but you're gonna get to see a little bit of it so this is me uh, totally uh, kind of breaking the hell of rules with the Jeep like up in the air like working on it and nobody uh, comes over and says anything the first thing you have to do is you have to take off the skid plates that came with the Jeep um, you're not taking the cross members off you're just taking the skid plates off so it's like that one like thing that looks like a, a cross member but it's actually a skid plate um, on the front that's a, like a T and then the other one um, that's like right behind it and you'll like look how small those are like and you're gonna notice like how big of a difference there is between like what we're putting on and what um, is coming off and so like I said you're not gonna see like the entire footage of like because it'd be like a, even a sped up it would be <laughs> really long um, to watch uh, but I will let you see me at least take the old armor off and then magically it will just um, it'll be on because you're not gonna I'm not gonna bother with the trying to record like all the steps to, to get to uh, get the armor on but there is a uh, a guide that rock hard 4, 4x4 has if you want to actually see how to put it on that shows how to put it on and I think it's like 20 minutes and like it's like immaculate and awesome um, and when I did it it wasn't anywhere near as um, 
professional. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to EPM in Pennsylvania um, after all this COVID stuff and uh, get the last two pieces put on. They're very, very small pieces. Um, and uh, one of them, like, just the bolt didn't want to come off for me. Um, and I just didn't feel like fighting with it. And then the other one is going to take a little bit of Eric's magic. Okay, so for all the new Jeepers, that is what Rubicon armor looks like that they think is going to protect the bottom of the truck. Yeah, and so this is what the truck looks like uh, underneath. You can see there's a gas tank, like there's an oil pan, like the transmission is in the middle, like there's an exhaust, there's another part of the exhaust. Everything is absolutely exposed. You could just smash all that stuff basically like on rocks. Like it's just silly to think that like those two little bars are going to protect like all that stuff. You know, so like that's why you need a spotter like and everything like so I'm going to show you what I'm installing and this should be one of the first upgrades you want to consider. So this is like the rock hard skid plate system and this is not even all the skids. This is just uh, the main pieces. So here's the difference and you can see that um, this isn't even all the armor. This is about 80% of the armor. There's still another piece that needs to go in the upper uh, right corner to cover that little uh, exhaust piece and there's another piece that goes in back to cover um, that exhaust piece on the um, right hand side. Um, but you can see that the oil pan is completely covered. Um, the transmission in the center is fully covered. The gas tank is fully covered. That little piece in the far front I think is part of the sway bar disconnect system. That's um, been replaced with, uh, it used to be this like little tiny piece and now it's like this big massive piece. So you can see essentially like, like night and day difference like on protection for the bottom of the Jeep.